would you interpret supporting the death penalty as right wing? Or I mean, I think that could be supported by anybody. I hear no discussion of th things like immigration, and and it's not that necessarily being anti-immigration makes you conservative, but believing in you know national borders. Th these are these are things that are in the scriptures. The marriage being. Uh, the union of man and wife. What is your most right-wing opinion? The most right-wing opinion? Uh, pride in our nation. What, what makes you proud about this country? Oh, we have a great history, which we should be proud of. It's one that people that have come to us from all different parts of the world can share, actually, in that history. I reject all this negativism, what people call wokeism. Um. <laughs> My most right-wing belief. Well, I'm not. I'm. I'm, I'm middle of the road, so I haven't got any extreme right-wing presentation, other than uh, a, 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 a min minimalistic state, mm. as small as possible. That's. Hmm. I always puzzle about left-wing and right-wing because there's these sort of buckets that you have to fit into. Um, most right-wing opinion. No, I'd be puzzled to know about that. I, I think generally, I think the size of the state is too big and the size of the taxation burden is too big and we have to do something about that. I think that's a very challenging question to answer, actually. I'd... We have a great history. Uh, we've given a lot of benefit to the world, enormous benefit. It's something we can be proud of. Yes, we've made mistakes in the past. We recognise that. But overall, uh, the, the, the balance sheet is in credit enormously. So I think as a nation we've contributed disproportionately to making this a better world. I, I don't actually know I could answer that one. Well, I think the state's grown too big and devolution and empowerment is what it should all be about. So if that's extreme right, <laughs> well, so, so be it. I mean, if, if, you know, if I was to give you a suggestion, would you interpret supporting the death penalty as right-wing or I mean I think that could be supported by anybody. What would you say is your most right-wing opinion? I'm not really that right-wing to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> and why are you conservative? Uh, again because of stability and heritage and community. Um, what's my right? Oh god I, I can't tell you. <laughs> I can't think what my... my... God, that's bad isn't it? No, I can't think I've of one. I've got the crisis. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think this is a crisis of faith, yeah. <laughs> do you support the death penalty? Is that your... I do that... support that, yes. I think that's our answer there. <laughs> <laughs> is the current Conservative establishment, are they proper Conservatives by your definition? No. My most Conservative belief uh, is uh, most probably the centrality and the essentiality of uh, uh, family as uh, the basic structure of society. What does that look like? Uh, traditional family, marriage, uh, kids, <laughs> and uh, uh, support definitely from the institution. I hear almost no talk whatsoever from you know, Liz Truss or any, or any of the cabinet on Christianity. It is, it, it's a lot about supporting yourself and your family. It's about saying you have to make sure that you've got strong economies, you have to be supportive of business, and all of that kind of sounds a little bit tough. But the reality is, unless you do, you know, we all do have a responsibility for ourselves and our family. You can't say somebody's got to support me. You do have, we do have a responsibility to grow our economy, otherwise there's no jobs. If you don't support business, you don't have the jobs, you don't have the tax income, you can't uh, deal with welfare. Now it seems to me that the Conservative is, uh, Party has always been prepared to take what is a pretty strong, logical, practical view rather than dive straight into the emotions bucket. And that's actually a very easy thing to do, to say, beat your heart and say, you've got to do this, you've got to do that, why can't we do it? Yeah, and that is the emotions bucket, and people do connect with emotions, but emotions don't get you anywhere. I'm afraid it's only hard-paced decisions that do. Mm. So there you go, there's an answer. I hear no discussion of th things like immigration, and, and it's not that necessarily being anti-immigration makes you conservative, but believing in you know, national borders. These are, these are things that are in the scriptures. What do you mean by traditional marriage? 
Traditional marriage for me, I'm a Roman Catholic, mm. so obviously for me traditional marriage is the one that is that has a sacramental value, is celebrated in church and has a civil value. But obviously we know uh, it's, it's 2022, there are different declinations of marriage, but uh, in terms of what marriage is uh, from uh, a society perspective, from a legal perspective, uh, there are uh, obligations and there are rights that come from the marriage being uh, the union of man and wife uh, in order to foster uh, a continuation through, child, uh, to, to, through children and uh, an inheritance mm -hmm. that goes uh, through the generation of society. Mm -hmm. This is marriage and this is uh, what uh, any society is actually founded upon. Is there anything else you'd want to add? And, you know, and, and the belief in yeah, that the, the each nation ha has its land and that those borders should be strong and protected. You know, I'm not saying we don't let anyone in, but the, the current Conservative South America sees things like immigration as purely econ an economic tool. They don't see any aspect of a cultural I implications whatsoever. It's just not in their consideration. What is the most Tory thing about you? Most Tory thing about me? I think the most Tory thing about me is my love of Britain. Whether you agree with gay marriage or not, it was certainly still a step in that same direction as New Labour did with things like the Equality Act. And I don't, yeah, you're either conservative or you're not. And if and one and the institution of marriage is something that people do care deeply about. And we're now at a point where that's offensive to thing to, a thing to say inside that hall, and it really shouldn't be. Everyone in our country is able to have an opportunity to work, to feel important, to be loved by our country is great. And that's what we are, greatness of this country. Having the opportunity to work and do things, that is what I want. You know, I am naturally a Christian. It's not something you just adopt and say you are. You know, I mean, it's, it's nothing. You know, anyone can be a member of the Conservative Party. Whether they're conservative or not is a different thing, and I think it's, you know, it'd, be, it'd be good to ask people exactly why they, why they're a member of the party. So I think some of the reasoning might, might surprise you. Um, what, what is a proper conservative then? Could you define that? Someone that believes in preserving, conserving, and furthering the interests of the core pillars of British society. So whether that's the church, the monarchy, our parliamentary system, rather than necessarily the, in the interests of capital. Or, or whatever, and, and which is actually a relatively new thing for a conservative to be interested in. And certain traditional things, historical things. Um, I love the landscapes, I love the fact that we've done so many great things in different walks of life, mm. in terms of, you know, law, justice, in terms of business, art. Mm. Um, and I think that, you know, people who hate on that, who under the guise of being liberal, are disregarding all the successes that the country has had and only focusing on the losses which there has been you know there's been things that have, they've gotten wrong uh, a lot you know they have but I look at the positives of what this country has achieved over the hundreds of years and I think that's why I consider myself a proud Tory because I, I love I love what this country has done yeah you know, the Christian idea of marriage is, is between a man and but it is between a man and a woman did you join the Conservative Party? Um, because I believed, and I still do, that, because I'm not rich or anything like that, it's because it's still an aspirational party. And the idea of keeping people down, which I believe Labour does, um, then that's not something I identify with, really. I believe that everybody should have a good opportunity, and I think the Conservative Party represents that, despite what some headlines say there are, you know there are significant evidence to say that a you know a, a married couple man and woman is is the best environment to, to raise a child and i think that's now somewhat unpopular but i, I strongly believe that that's the case i believe in, 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 in free markets and, and and free enterprise and i believe that you know people that work hard do the right thing should be able to to retain some of those those rewards and i, I you know the conservative party's been around hundreds of years you know it's a, it's a very successful party but it's uh, it's at its most successful when we're united i think we have to stay united in difficult times and, and we're going through a difficult time there's no doubt about that i'm not trying to hide that but um, you know if we all go in different directions, 
our actions um, we won't achieve anything and look there's you know there's a plethora of centre-left parties in this country you know there's there's, there's, there's there's many of them but there's only one sort of centre-right party and uh, I, d I do think we have slightly lost our way but I still think we're the best party to govern this country. Why did you join the Conservatives? Uh, so God, I can't remember. <laughs> uh, I can't remember originally why I joined, but the reason I'm still a Conservative is that I believe in things like um, stability, um, community, um, and I, I, you know, I think we'd be a lot better society if we're a bit more stable and had much stronger communities. What is the most Tory thing about you? The <laughs> most Tory thing about me? Um, well, probably just my, my beliefs. I mean, as I've explained, my belief in free enterprise and people being able to achieve their aspirations and having that sort of individualism, that freedom to do so. Mm. I think that's a very conservative uh, value. I, I don't think you'd find anyone that disagrees with that value. So um, I think that's probably the most conservative thing about me. Why are you a member of the Conservative Party? Uh, because I believe that that will be the means by which everybody in the UK will get a better life. Um, many years ago I was uh, rather further to the left, but, uh, but now I believe that that's the way for us all to get to a better situation. How far to the left were you? Oh, a fair bit. <laughs> yes, yes. Radical Marxists. Uh, well, uh, yeah, I was in something which I suppose nowadays uh, it changes so many names, but I, I, the first political person I encountered was a, a journalist, Paul Foote, who was extremely persuasive, a brilliant man. Uh, and so I essentially uh, went to where he went. and. Uh, uh, I, I subsequently realised that I, that uh, that was not where I wanted to be. But but at the initially it was uh, very informative. But that was a long time ago.